Hi, everyone. Uh, given that it's Easter, I guess what we should be talking about is Jesus' uh, death, burial, and resurrection. Uh, of course, we talk about that all the time anyway, but, um, well, let's talk about it some more. Um, so, a lot of people just think of Jesus dying for our sins and that's just about it, like that's all he did on the cross. Uh, but it's so much more than that. Um, that I, I was trying to find a list of all the, well, it's probably inexhaustive few things that he accomplished on the cross, but um, I found this um, Lewis Berry Schaefer article on uh, Blue Letter Bible. There are some modified versions people have come up with um, putting it on their own websites. Uh, it's called, it's chapter 6, The Riches of of Grace in Christ Jesus. Um, not sure what it's, or I'm not sure if that's the title of the book or the title of the chapter. Anyway, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description box, but I want to go through, there's 33 things um, that for those who believe the gospel that he died for our sins, um, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Um, for those of us who believe what he did on the cross and that it was for us, uh, then all of these things are true of us because of what he did. So it's basically what did he accomplish in his death, um, burial and resurrection, but, um, you know, it all starts with his death. So we've got um, the first section. Oops. First section is the eternal plan of God. So we are foreknown, elect, predestinated, chosen, and called. And then we are reconciled uh, by God and to God. We are redeemed, redeemed by God, and we are free of all condemnation. We are related to God through a propitiation. And all sins are covered by the atoning blood. We are vitally conjoined to Christ for judgment of the old man upon, oh, unto a new walk. And that, that comprises of we are crucified with Christ, we're dead with Christ, we're buried with him, and we're raised with Christ to walk by a new life um, of principle. We are freed from the law, um, which comprises of being dead to the law and delivered from the law. We are children of God, and that comprises of being born again, quickened or made alive, um, we're sons of God, a new creation, and we're regenerated. Uh, we are ad adopted. Sorry, I keep on clicking on verses. We are adopted. Um, we have received the spirit of adoption. I should use my other finger. Um, we are we are accepted to God by Christ by Jesus Christ. And that comprises of we made righteous, made the righteousness of God in Him. We're sanctified positionally, and we're perfected forever. We're made accepted in the beloved. We are made meet, um, which I'll just read the rest. Giving thanks to the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. We are justified, therefore being justified by faith. We're forgiven all trespasses in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. We are made nigh, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. We're delivered from the powers of darkness. We're translated into the kingdom and we're on the rock, Christ Jesus. Um, we are a gift from God to Christ. 
we are circumcised in Christ. We're partakers of the holy and royal priesthood. Um, so not, a, not only a holy priesthood, but a royal priesthood. We are a chosen generation and a peculiar people um, having access to God. Um, we have that by one spirit unto the Father. Um, within the much more care of God, um, and that comprises of objects of his love, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith, wherewith he loved us, and we're objects of his grace for salvation, for keeping, for ser service, for instruction, and then we are objects of his power, um, the exceeding greatness of his power to us would. We're objects of his faithfulness. He will never leave or forsake us. We're objects of his peace. We're objects of his consolation. We are objects of his intercession. He ever liveth to make it intercession for us. Oh, did I make that up? I might have said make it. I should have just said make um, we are his inheritance and we are, no, we are his inheritance and he is our inheritance. Oops. Um, we have a heavenly association which comprises of being partners with Christ in life, partners with Christ in position partners with Christ in service, partners with Christ in suffering, partners with Christ in betrothal. We are heavenly citizens uh, of the family of the household of God. We're fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. We are the light in the Lord. We are vitally united to the Father, Son and Spirit that is in God, in Christ. And in Christ is made up of being a holy member in his body, a branch of the vine, a stone in the building, a sheep in his flock, a part of his bride, a priest of the kingdom of priests, a saint of the new generation in the spirit. Oh, and the final, um, so in Christ, in God, in Christ, in the Spirit. That's how we are vitally united to the Father, Son and Spirit. Um, okay, we are blessed with the first fruits and the earnest of the Spirit. And that is made up of being born of the Spirit, baptised with the Spirit, indwelt by the Spirit and sealed by the Spirit. We are glorified. We're complete in him and we possess every, every spiritual blessing um, in the heavenlies in Christ. So that was a quick read through. Um, I'll provide the link and if you want to go through in detail, um, you can click on verses obviously that kept <laughs> popping up. Um, it, it's part way down the page, it's not right at the top of this list, but yeah, it's a uh, it's just mind-boggling the things that Jesus accomplished on the cross for us. Uh, it's, it's not simply he died for our sins. There's just so much to it. And what we do um, is renew our minds in this truth. Um, and as we, you know, read about it, um, remind ourselves of it, learn about it, um, we're um, washed by the water of the word and brought into his presence um, setting our mind on the things of the spirit uh, which is walking in the spirit and all of these things will just you know it, you will grow in grace you'll grow in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ as you learn about these things and uh, you'll be renewed in the spirit of your mind alright I hope that blesses you I'll talk to you later. Bye.